let's dig in with more examples about solving quadratic equation by extracting the square root. So we have here x squared is equal to 25. The variable is not yet alone, so we need to remove 2. So how are we going to remove 2 again? So we're going to put radical sign or square root of, do it to the left, do it to the right. So we're going to put also another square root of or radical sign. And then cancel the 2. The variable is already alone, but still we need to simplify the right side. So square root of 25 is positive negative 5. So as simple as that, so we have already the answer. So the answer is x is equal to positive negative 5. Now you can write that as x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 5. Next one is x plus 4 and then squared is equal to 36. So we have here two numbers to remove. So we have 4 and then 2. Because if we're going to remove 4 and 2, the variable x is already alone and we're done solving. And we have 36 on the right side. Okay, so think of it. So what are we going to do first? Are we going to remove 4 first or the squared? So if you're going to think of our tip a while ago, the farthest number from the variable should be removed first. So we're going to remove first 2. So remove first the exponent. And again, how are we going to remove the exponent? So we put radical sign or square root of. Then again, do it to the left, do it to the right. So remove or rather put square root of or radical sign. So cancel 2. So what will remain is x plus 4. So we can remove already the quantity is equal to positive negative 6. So don't forget to put positive negative 6. So next one is 4. So how are we going to remove 4 so that we can have the variable alone? So to remove positive 4, so we're going to subtract that by 4. Because if we have 4 minus 4, we have 0. So x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to positive negative 6 minus 4. So, dinerecho ko na. Diba? Do it to the left, do it to the right. So, nag minus 4 tayo sa left, minus 4 sa right side. And then, we can cancel this. So, meron na lang tayo ay x is equal to positive negative 6 minus 4. So, alone na yung variable, but we can still simplify the right side. So, ang 6 natin could be positive or negative. So, pwede natin expand katulad neto. Yun nga lang, kasama na yung minus 4. So, we have, so, we have x is equal to, kunin muna natin yung positive. So, 6 minus 4. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. Pinuha muna natin yung positive part. So, ito yung una nating value ng x. And we are not yet done kasi ang 6 ay pwede ring negative according to our um, solving. So, x is equal to negative 6 minus 4. So, negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. So, our final answer will be x is equal to 2 and x is equal to negative 10. This will be our last example for this topic. We have 9x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. So what are we going to do first? So are we going to remove 9 first, 2, or minus 49? Of course, based on our tip that I gave you a while ago, so we need to remove first the farthest number from the variable, so which is minus 49 or negative 49. So to remove that, we have 9x squared minus 49 plus 49 so that we can make this 0 is equal to 0 plus 49. Actually, pwede naman gawin yung direct, diretso na. 
So, if 49 nyo na lang, since 0 plus 49 is still 49 din naman. Then, after that, we can cancel negative 49 and 49. So, we have 9x squared is equal to 49. So, next. So, divide by 9 muna. Ang pinakahuling part ay ang pag-remove na exponent. So, divide by 9. Divide by 9. So, cancel 9. So, we have x squared. So, x squared is equal to 49 over 9. Okay. 49 is not divisible by 9. So, ang mangyayari dyan, don't divide. Kasi kapag dinivide nyo yan, so magkakaroon kayo ng decimal and it will be hard for you to get the square root of a decimal. Kung di kayo nagamit ng calcu, kung manual lang. Pero kung may calcu naman, so walang problema. But I'm going to teach you how to solve it manually. Ngayon, ang 49 at 9, so they have similarity. Ang similarity nila, they are both perfect square. Therefore, kapag kinuha natin ang square root neto, at kinuha natin yung square root neto, we can simplify that. So, cancel. So, magiging x. So, to get the square root of a fraction, so get the square root first of the numerator, and then after that, get the square root of the denominator. So, the square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 9 is 3. And don't forget to write positive, negative. So this will be our final answer.